Hey, welcome back to Full Scholarships live video series. Uh, this video is going to about uh, going to be about the Denmark government fully funded scholarships for the session 2024-2025. You can study free in Denmark for the bachelor's, master's, PhD, and this is for the all international students. Deadline for this is November 1st each year. We'll do the full process. Before that, let me remind you to subscribe to my YouTube channel Full Scholarships and do follow us on Instagram page as well. Uh, the link for this uh, Denmark government scholarship is given in the video description below. You can check out any of the videos. Uh, links are in the respective descriptions as well as you can check out the about section of the YouTube here and links are also given there as well as you can check out the Instagram bio and you can also scan the QR code on the Instagram post here. It will take the same scholarship that you are looking for. Meanwhile, you can directly visit our website fullscholarships.net or cashmilook.com and once you are on this page, you can see the uh, basic information about this scholarship. So host country is Denmark and there are partially funded, fully funded scholarships for masters and deadline is uh, number first each year. So you can apply for this. Uh, it depends on the grant you are applying to and depends on the credentials you have. Then the scholarship will be decided either full or partial. So at least you'll get a partial scholarship if uh, you are, your application is evaluated. Then eligibility for this is you need to have the English language skills and basic documents like CV, transcripts and passports. Then you can apply for these three engineering subjects there, particularly for this particular scholarship. How do you apply? Simply submit these documents and through the online portal. That's it. Now, how to apply for this? Simply scroll down and then you can see link is given here to start the application. So click on this link here. Once you click on that, you can see University of Southern Denmark official website is here. You can see scholarships and this is the Danish government scholarships among international uh, full degree graduate students. So everything is here. So who can receive scholarship? So you must be enrolled in any of these scholar uh, programs and simply you can read other details here. Now simply let's enroll in any of these programs. For example, you want to go for the mechanical engineering, you want to go for electronics, any of these. Suppose I'll choose the mechanical engineering in, uh, program here. So MSc, I'll click on this link here. Now once you click on that link or any other program that you wish, you can see the mechanical engineering science uh, official website is here and all the details about the program is mentioned here. So you can scroll down on the right hand side, you can see admissions, apply for the program. So click on this, see how to apply here. Once you click on that, you can see master's application program, admissions page is here. And this is for the European student, but we are non-European, so we have to click on this non-EU students here. So once you click on that, you can see multiple sections there. So you can see apply for admission. So click on this, and you can directly click on this go to application portal as well. As this is the same, so you can click on this go to application portal here. So let's click on this go to application portal, and once you click on that, you can see uh, welcome pages here. And for the first time users, you have to click on set me up as user. And you have to register with the first name, last name, citizenship, then email, and upload a passport here. And then click on I do not have the security number, and then click on create. So you have to mention the details here like a birth ID, address, and the country code. Then click on create account. Once you click on create account, you can simply click on this login as self registered user here. So click on this login as self registered user here, and use the same email and the password. So I have got my username and password that I just signed up and now I'll click on the login here. So once you click on that, it should take us to the dashboard successfully. You can see uh, we have successfully logged into the dashboard. We have previously used this dashboard as well. We have submitted some of the previous applications here. You can see and these were rejected. These were demo applications. Now to start the application, this you have to click on create application. By default, it will be there in the create application. Now you can see University of Southern Denmark is selected by default. And you can see the you can search the programs here. Click on search and click on OK. So you can search about the programs here. And or you can click on create to uh, creating a moving application here. So type of education is required. OK. So let me see the stats of the previous applications. And let me go back to the home page. This should not have happened here. So, so you have to select the type of education. This might take few seconds to load and you have to select that. So let me show you one of the applications that I have completed. So you can click on view application. 
so you have to choose the type of subject there you can see type of program i have chosen the program msc program in the agriculture economics like sim likewise you have to choose the uh, electronics mechatronics or the mechanical engineering and after that you have to enter the basic details then descriptions you have to upload the passport here and then your addresses and then academic programs you have completed like bachelor's degree uh, for masters obviously you should have a bachelor's degree and you should have information about that and then submit that and you have completed that details then upload a cv here then calculate your gpa we have also the gpa calculator you could use this file as well and then uh, upload the test language test if you have ielts to you can submit it. otherwise it's not required for uh, if you have completed your education in the english then do you have already a master's program in a uh, two-year master's program? if you have select yes otherwise select no and if your qualification uh, is from a Danish institute, select yes and no accordingly. I do not have, I have an international degree. I'll just submit that. Then upload the course descriptions of the current courses I have completed. Like my transcripts, mention all the details. Now I will submit that. Then self-assessment is not required. Then upload the documentation of the uh, previous exams. Uh, if you are unfinished masters, you can submit that. But I do not have, I have just completed my courses. That is the masters. I'll submit all the mark sheets here. Then upload your invoice for the payment of the application fee. So there's an application fee, uh, just a few, a few dollars of application fee. You have to submit that and upload the receipt here. And that's it. Then you can submit the application. Basic and simple application. And you don't have to worry about it. So you can likewise uh, see the application stats of the uh, other applications if you have submitted. So let me take it. Uh, let me go to the program website here. This is not going back. So let me again go to the application portal here. Okay. Let me uh, go to the application portal again so that I see if the portal is. Okay, this just goes to the, there's no exit option. Okay. So in the same manner, you have to uh, submit the application, same details, same uh, process is there. So that, let me sign in again and let me log into this. You can click on create application. You have to wait for a few. Okay. Now we can see, uh, let me choose the University of Southern Denmark. Here you can see then select the programs you can see uh, full time masters i want to go for so you have to select accordingly so you can see full time program on on part time or access course so you have to single subject full time part time sub single subject diploma so here is a masters degree so you can click on search so different programs will be displayed here so you can see then you have to find the program that are listed here. So you can find the program in the portal. <clears throat> you have to patiently wait for this application and then you can easily submit this. Uh, for example, I will just choose a random because you have to translate either this or you can just go for this part time masters here and you can search. None of the degrees is there. You can click on single subject, click on search. So somehow you have to find out that course i'll just go with this uh, degree program then click on the search and you can see different programs are there suppose i'll go with this master's degree program i'll select that and now click on move on to the creation of the application you can see application has been created and now you have to click on move on creation of the application and now you can see collection of the data so any other university you want to apply so you can see click on next then enter the person information here and it's by default i have submitted already that you can mention the address here and then you can click on next you can also save the draft and go to start page then select the location then are you a former student so no i'm not then click on next then requirements you have to mention the degrees that you have completed previously and similarly then you have to complete a payment of application fee and then submit the application and send application to the university that's it simple application is there 
so then you can go to start page and uh, do you wish to save the draft you can save the draft and if you are not able to uh, complete the application at a single time so you can save it as a draft and go to my start page and then you can see uh, start source your applications here and this will be listed this is the draft application once you complete edit application and submit the application fee your application will be submitted so all you need to do is just have application in these three subjects so that you can get the grant for this uh, dance government scholarship i hope you have no doubts now left if you still have you can just ask us in the comment section and below also you can uh, visit our website fullscholarships.net every information is published there you don't need to worry just message us on instagram page or comment down below the video that i need guidance in this step you don't need to worry at all will our team is here to assist you and you need to visit our website fullscholarships.net or cashmere.com and you can check out the link for this scholarship from the video description as well as in the about section of the youtube and you can also scan qr code or message us on instagram ask for the link we'll provide you that uh, keep watching keep subscribing keep visiting our website fullscholarships.net have a nice day ahead